guys welcome to my channel uh thank you for tuning in so i'm gonna do three different gpu benchmarking password cracking obviously most exciting topic first one is going to be a nvidia tesla t100 going to run the standard benchmark against microsoft Office 2010, Office 13, APFS, File Vault, iTunes Backup, RAW 5.0, and BitLocker. We're not going to go through the rest for the moment. We're only going to be using the GPU, we're not going to touch the CPU. Um, and obviously, I'm going to be speeding things up so it's not a boring video. It wasn't boring enough as it is. Well, here we go, I'm starting, and um, I think you're going to be quite surprised at the results. We're going to be comparing a P100 with a RTX 2060 and a GTX 1080 Ti. What I found very interesting is that on the P100 it used the most RAM. It used approximately 5 gig of RAM on the P100 and used 100% GPU load. I found that quite interesting. I mean, if you want to know what this application is, it's a program by a company called PassAware. It's a forensic password recovery program, very sophisticated and also quite expensive. For standard license, it's about a thousand euros. Um, obviously, I didn't pay for it. The company I work for paid for it, so it is what it is. Feel free to speed up the video if you want to see the results right at the end of the video. I compare all three graphics cards. So, if you're one of those people who've got absolutely zero patience, then crack on. Otherwise, settle back with your popcorn and watch this exciting password cracking porn. <laughs> Right, so we're coming to the end now of the P100, the Tesla P100 benchmark. Now, next will be the GTX 1080 Ti. Now, as you can see, it's only using 750 megabytes of RAM, whereas on the P100, it was using five gigabytes. I'm not too sure why the Tesla T1 P100 uses five gig of RAM. It's possible that it was already being used previously and it stuck. Well, I doubt it, it's very strange. Anyway, so this is the 1080 Ti, it's only using 866 meg of RAM, 100% GPU load, and uh, yeah, as I said, if this is a boring video, please feel free to go to the end, where I will compare the three. Um, screen recording software it's a professional license and the default option is to put watermark straight across the screen all the retarded things that you can do you pay them for the software and the default option is to have a watermark across the screen when I noticed it I was quite pissed off I went and had a look it's there 
activated by default, like you would want that. It's uh, quite bizarre. Anyway, getting to the end of the 1080 Ti benchmark. And now we're moving on to the RTX 2060. Video RTX 2060. Yep, there we go. I'm going to speed this up. This video is getting quite boring. As you can see, the memory is only 600 meg, pretty much the same as the 1080 Ti, um, and it's only using 70% of the GPU. is quite strange. Right now, if we go to the results, so coming in first is the P100 Tesla. On the P100, we've got 115 Ti. Sorry. Ti first, uh, 115,000 passwords a second, and then we've got the RTX 2060, which is 30,000 passwords per second, and then we've got the P100, which is 59,000 passwords a second. So the clear winner here is the 1080 Ti. As you can see, the 1080 Ti wins. Quite surprising, Tennessee Ti beats P100. I am actually very surprised, personally. I mean, it's close, but it's a clear winner. And also, the RTX 2060 surprised me as well with its poor performance. Anyway, it is what it is. Take from that, or you will.